Hello, so we are back and this time we have to fix like a big amplifier So check here Proper heavy Harman Kardon amplifier Okay What this is doing pressing the power button probably you can't even see the power button And we have protect yeah, we have an error And it's shutting down by itself. So we have to fix this we have to fix this. This is kind of for a home cinema thingy. Okay. Now, let me get this down. Now let's just go a little bit for the theory, yeah? Just a few seconds. Okay, so let's see short how the amplifiers are working. Let's say you have an amplifier, uh, stereo, or uh, it doesn't even matter how many amplifiers you have. Input, output. Then you have the speaker, yeah? So this is the output, and the speaker is connected to ground. But from amplifiers, you have plus and you have minus, yeah? You have differential power supplies. Minus. The outputs are monitorized, yeah? The output. They don't have capacitors on the output and uh, both they are monitorized for the voltage yeah so if you have voltage on the output you'll burn the speaker so that's what it's about the protection you only have a protection writing on the amplifier or a led yeah it's all about the output voltage yeah it's not supposed to be voltage on the output now taking down one amplifier how it will be on one amplifier you have plus you have ground because you have differential power supply and you have minus okay now on the end of the amplifier and this is on the all amplifiers even if you have a chip there or not on the end you will have a transistor right you'll have two transistors yeah on the end of the amplifier and then you have here you have the speaker and the speaker also comes from the ground so that's the output of on any amplifier. Now, if you have short any transistor, what you'll have, you have voltage on the output. And in that case, you'll get the protection side. Or it's one more case when you can have voltage on the output is if one power rail is missing. Yeah, if any of this is missing, you will get voltage on the output. It doesn't matter if you get with plus voltage or with minus. Compare with this ground, okay? Compare with this ground because it's a differential power supply. So either you have shorter transistors, either you have missing power rail, you will get voltage on the output and you will get the protection sign on the screen or you have a LED, LED, which is coming on, okay, protection. That's the protection on the audio amplifiers. Now let's go and try to see what's wrong with this amplifier and try to fix it. Wow, you see, this is a nice one. I love audio amplifiers, especially this one, like kind of old. You have a linear transformer, you have a classic audio amplifier. It's no switching on this, uh, on this amplifier. And obviously, there is a reason why it's no switching on audio amplifier. Okay, looks great. We have one fan here, one fan here. I don't like fans. I expect to see a big heatsink, but obviously a big heatsink is heavy. So what we can check here, we have a bunch of power supplies, yeah, so these probably are low power. And the heavy ones, yeah, are here, are on this side, you know, for the audio amplifier or not. We do have more wires from the transformer. I believe it will take a while, so the audio amplifier board is on the bottom, you can see the coils there, so those coils are on the output, so before the speaker you have a coil. And I can see the standby transformer is there, but that one is good. So I believe we have to remove some things and uh, test. The power rails are there, yeah, I believe we have to remove from... Uh, few boards to have access to the to the bottom board. Let's see in a minute. Okay, so we made some space here. 
So now we have access to check uh, to check some things, yeah. Especially the output, yeah. We're gonna check the transistors and uh, see if everything is okay. It's not necessary to be like a burn transistor, but maybe a power rail is missing, or maybe. Uh, whoever is monitorizing the output of the transformer actually is monitorizing some powers, power rails uh, from preamp, from uh, different uh, parts of the circuit. Okay, so uh, I pick up the, the thermal camera because with the thermal camera, uh, you know, if you have a shorted transistor, a shorted uh, output, we should see that. And indeed, some interesting things here so there we have the transistors okay which are on the are on the heatsink really can't see them but you will see when you'll see a faulty one here so this channel is fine but this channel look at the transistor you can see it look at the, those resistors from the from the board but you can see the transistor, even if it's on the heat sink, you can clearly see him. Yeah, the, the amplifier is off. If it's off, the heat it will spread. So power on. Check the transistor. You see that one from the heat sink? Just ignore the resistor. I can see the resistor are burning hot. But the transistor are normal to be like this, to be cold. I mean, it's not audio input. So there is no reason for a transistor to be, look, it's getting hot. You can see it. I can't say, you know, and that one is faulty, but can be that one good and the other one shorted or, or this one can be actually shorted. So it's off, power on, on. And you can clearly see him, it's, it's getting hot. I mean, even the resistors on the board. Yeah, so here is something wrong. Now, replacing the transistors, it's a different story. Not sure if it's worth. I mean, for the money was this book team, because this is not expensive. Right now, probably you can buy it for like 200, 300. And this job is cheap. I don't think it's worth to be repaired. It's a lot of work. We have to order spares. It's a lot of work here. here. I don't think it's worth to be repaired on a country like United Kingdom where the time is very expensive. Now, to remove this, this will be a lot of work. And I mean hours. And uh, the job will be very expensive. Now, what can I do? What can I do is to remove the short. If we are removing the short, then uh, we have the other channels. This, this amplifier has many outputs. So removing one channel, you still have a working amplifier, the other channels. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do. I believe if I... Uh, actually, I don't believe, I'm sure. Yeah. So if we are removing, you see those white things are double resistors and they are connected in a serial with the transistor. Yeah. So that's for uh, balancing the transistors, you see, because obviously the transistors are not the same. So they are using a resistor to balance the transistors. So if I remo remove that, that resistor, I should disconnect the both MOSFETs at the same time. If we are disconnecting the, the, the both, uh, sorry, no MOSFETs, transistors. If we are disconnecting the transistors on the same time, that means on the output, we will not have voltage. If we don't have voltage, I should get rid of the error from this amplifier, yeah? So let me try that. Okay, so check check the output of this coil, yeah? You can see this coil. This is uh, on, the, on the output. We have the multimeter on screen, pressing the power button. 25 volts, you see? And... You to hear this clicking, yeah, and now it's the protect mode and the voltage goes down. Okay, so that's that's the reason why this uh, amplifier is going on the protection mode. So, uh, 
I will remove the the resistor, yeah, the balance resistor, and uh, if we have zero volts there, should be fine. Okay, so uh, all good. We remove the resistor, and the amplifier now is not on the protect mode. Now, from five channels, uh, the customer still have four. I will show you one second. I haven't plugged all the connectors, but I can show you. Yeah, let me plug it. Let me power on. Now it's on. And you see, it's working fine. So it's not on the protect mode anymore because we took the voltage out from the output. Now, like how I said, uh, on this point, it's not worth for me to replace, uh, to fix that channel. I will speak with the customer, of course, I will explain him, I will tell him the extra price, but if I tell him the extra price, probably he will choose to use this how it is. We still have four good channels, yeah, we removed one, but we still have four. So I'm pretty sure the, the customer it will be happy with this repair. But in any case, if he indeed love this amplifier, we can uh, we can dig in and uh, and fix that channel. Okay. So that's how you fix a fault like this uh, error with uh, uh, protection error. Usually, like how I said, this is when the voltage uh, comes on the output. But this is a uh, like a basic one. So actually this amplifier start. I mean, the, the, the speakers are connected. That's what is strange. So the speakers are connected. If the speakers are connected, they are getting voltage, but they get disconnected after a few seconds. But usually on the newer amplifier, you have relays on the output. And if uh, the protection circuit is seeing voltage on the output, he will not engage the relays, the speakers, yeah? Okay, so I'll stop now, I'll not uh, keep you here. I'm just giving you an idea how to fix uh, an amplifier with this kind of fault. And uh, actually, this is the most common fault on amplifiers. You get that thing, error, or you have a LED error. Okay, so I will say... Uh, I will say it's not really worth for an audio amplifier to be repaired. Uh, apart from the fact the amplifier is very expensive or it's a different country when uh, we actually can afford to work more on a, an amplifier like this. But anyway, see you on the next one. Bye.